In sections 39 through 52, I will teach you how to fill in this spreadsheet in a lot of detail, but I wanna put it on your radar screen right now, okay? Because I think this is a great opportunity for you to use this template, meaning all these tabs in the future, for when you value companies or create financial statements or model companies even. And so let me run through this spreadsheet very quickly. Okay, so there are seven tabs or seven steps to create your model financial statements and valuation. And you can click on each one of these buttons here to get to those financial statements and valuation steps or use the tabs at the bottom. Now, I, I wanna stress that if the text is too small here for you on your version of Excel, you can always go down to the bottom right hand corner, click on this item here and zoom in or zoom out. Also, when you open this document, if you see a, a little dialog box that says enable content or not, please select enable. Okay, there's no macros and no code in this, meaning that there's absolutely no risk of a virus in any of the spreadsheets in this entire uh, document because I don't use macros or, um, or code. Okay, let's keep it simple. So let's just go through this quickly. And please note also that on the portfolio dashboard document, I included these items as well. But let's just stick with the seven steps document that's attached to the lecture that you're watching right now, okay? So step one, and you can always click on these buttons here to learn more about each one of the steps. But step one basically tells you 25 modeling and valuation best practices. Okay, things I've learned the hard way <laughs> over the years. And I try to make it really simplistic in this document as all you have to do is change blue shaded text on every tab. Let me show you what that means. So if we go to the revenue forecast tab, all you have to do is change these blue items here. Okay, so if I were to say, I don't know, six, seven, of course, I'm making up dummy data here, <laughs> right? All the information is automatically calculated for you in other cells, okay? And I put in charts as well, and I'll talk about these later on. They're called spark lines, and they're awesome, so you can model seasonality, etc. okay? That's step two. That's creating the revenue forecast, okay? And then I'll ask you to move on to step three. And again, all you got to do is change the blue shade text in all of these tabs. I tried to simplify the process for you, right? And there's a lot of linking to other tabs as well. Whenever you see green text, it's linked to another tab. And again, you can learn more about all these steps by clicking on these gray shaded buttons. But I don't suggest you do that yet until you finish sections 39 through 52 of this course. Next up, we've got the balance sheet, which is step four. You can see the data came across directly from the previous tab. And then the cash flow statement. And I set up the cash flow statement so you don't have to enter anything. It's really cool. It just does everything for you automatically off of previous financial statements, meaning the income statement and the balance sheet. Don't worry, this will make more sense later. And then there's a valuation tab here that lets you value companies based on cash flow. Again, I'll explain all this in a lot more detail later in the course, right? But you can plug in just a ton of different parameters and play around and just have fun with this. You can figure out what a company is worth. You can do a sensitivity analysis, et cetera. Again, I'll talk about this in much more detail later, okay? And there's other valuation methodologies as well, depending on if you're a growth investor or a value investor, which I'll talk a lot about in this course. So I hope you enjoy this. Please play around with this and customize it as much as you want to throughout this course, because the best way to learn finance and Excel for that matter is to just play around and change parameters. And if you have any questions, as always, please let me know. Thank you.